Hello and welcome to this brief overview of the bid management template for Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2013. The solution is designed for long complex sales cycles, typically high value bids that you may be running in your business. You can track these bids in a centralized location and view them by status, value and margin. You can also further profile those bids by region, office and project type and you have the freedom to further customize the solution to suit your specific business needs. You can obviously link all activities, emails and documents to these bids and you can visualize data through charts and views and there's a dashboard view also provided. So let's go ahead and take a look at the bid management template. Working in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2013 you can navigate to your bids by clicking on sales and then navigating to the bids area from the top command bar. This takes you to a predefined list view of all the bids that you may have in play at the current time. There's also some chart facilities provided that will help you visualize some of this data. So for instance we can look at bid values by contract award date and here I can see the potential revenue that could be looming up in the coming months. I've got a whole host of uh, additional charts that I may want to uh, look at for instance bids by stage or potential margin or perhaps some win-loss analysis. But let's go into one of the specific bids and look at it in a little bit more detail. OK, so here we have an example bid and the first thing you'll notice is that there is a process bar at the top of the screen. This is an incredibly useful facility to help you stay on track with the bid as it moves through the logical phases that most bids move through. Typically at the start of a bid process there's a bid assessment stage and what the process bar allows you to do is simply update some checkboxes to highlight the fact that certain actions have been completed. So for instance typically early in the bid process you want to understand whether this bid meets your own criteria for doing business with people. Do you know who the competition is? What is the strategic importance of this particular bid for your own business? That will often help define whether or not you pursue the bid or not. This will help you arrive at a go no go decision and perhaps there may be some documents that are moving around in terms of pre-qualification questionnaires or uh, requests for information and you can highlight the fact that these have been submitted. We then move on to the next stage in the process which is the win strategy where you start to uh, put your bid team together and as this information is coming together you can also start to update the information lower on the screen. So for instance have we got the bid team confirmed, have we got the bid uh, budget approved and this will also help you uh, keep an eye on those costs of bid which are very important as uh, you're doing your day-to-day uh, -day business. So we can see here we've got a bit of information about this particular bid, it's a new building project, we've identified who the client is and that's a link directly to their record in the CRM system. We can also define what type of project it is and uh, this is set up as a template so you can tailor these to these particular pick lists to suit the information that you need. You can identify what stage you're at in the bid and again you can tailor this to suit the specific information that relates to uh, the way you carry out your bids. You can define the currency for this particular bid which is also important if you're operating in international markets and you want to record the information in the local currency. So here we've got the project value, we've identified what the potential margin could be, we've also uh, added some profile information, so which internal business unit does this relate to, which sector or industry sector does it relate to, which region are we, uh, uh, does this uh, uh, bid come from, uh, and indeed which specific office is looking after the bid. And then around that there's further profile information, what's the cost of this bid, uh, at what date was the uh, bid budget approved, so you can highlight that uh, and keep that information. <coughs> if you choose to you may want to put some workflow rules around that uh, if you want to uh, keep that uh, quite a robust process. What's your proposal price? And indeed, there's further uh, dates and deadline information which might be important. What, when was the bid received? What's the clarifications deadline, the submission deadline? Uh, and indeed, the all-important contract award date. Uh, and so this information in tandem with the information in the process bar will help you move along the bid process as it moves to a logical uh, conclusion. And when it comes to that close and review phase, obviously you will either win or lose the bid, but perhaps for good reasons you may want to qualify out or the project gets cancelled, and that can be highlighted as well and put into uh, uh, the system for further reference. 
Uh, indeed, when it comes to uh, bid closure, there's also an option to add some lessons learned, so uh, you can keep track of uh, any uh, key uh, uh, lessons learned along the process. Uh, obviously, you can track all of the activities associated with this particular bid, uh, be that phone calls, meetings, emails, and so forth. And in the notes area, you can also store all of the documents associated uh, with this particular bid, uh, in particular things like any confidentiality agreements, uh, tender documents, and so forth. Uh, if you choose to, you may want to harness the link into SharePoint. So uh, if you do use SharePoint, you can uh, uh, link documents directly from SharePoint into the bid record in CRM simply by using the out-of-the-box standard capability to link those documents, uh, if that's important for you. And finally, <clears throat> around these bids, there is an opportunity to view all of the information in a convenient dashboard. So here we have a bids dashboard, and this is showing me a few of those visualized charts, and these are charts that you can further drill into. So for instance, here I can see um, uh, bid values by contract award date, or indeed bids by stage. And with any of these, if I click uh, on the chart itself, uh, it allows me to then further drill into the information, and I can see see, uh, well, uh, if I want to look at the uh, uh, certain bids that are at a certain stage, I can simply click on the chart and it narrows the information to the detail that I need to see. So this is a standard dashboard that comes with the template. You can also see a list of all of the bids in that same dashboard. And indeed, there's another chart here that highlights the, uh, uh, the margin that you may be uh, seeking to achieve and the date that margin uh, could be appearing. So these are all uh, standard uh, 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 dashboard views within the overall bid management template. Okay, so let's have a brief summary of some of the capabilities we've been looking at. The bid management template for Microsoft CRM 2013 is designed for those long complex sales cycles. You can track all of those bids in a centralized location, looking at information by status, value, margin, project type and so forth. You can also further customize the template to suit your unique needs. And that may be adding or changing the fields that are there already, or indeed amending the process bar at the top of the screen. You can link all of the activities, emails and documents associated with that. And if SharePoint is in use in your organization, you can also link that directly to these bids. You can visualize data through the charts and views. And the dashboard view is a central console that brings all of this information together. So thank you for watching. Hopefully it's been a useful insight into the bid management template. And if you'd like to know more about this or indeed any of our other add-on products, please contact us through the website and we'll be happy to take things further.